We're in the book of Galatians. We're going to read chapter 1 and verse 10. The Bible says, For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. If I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Not I won't be as good of a servant of Christ. You're not the servant of Jesus Christ if you seek to please men. Now, I just want to give a little bit of a rebuke out there to all the professing Christians that are here on YouTube. Um, a lot of you guys are pansies, just to be very straight with you. I mean, there's whole websites that are dedicated to me. So uh, that's one thing I know I'm doing right. I'm getting the lost world ticked off. And uh, But I see some of these guys, well, I'm a Christian, and then, you know, I, I don't want to preach it to anybody, and, and you don't have to believe in the Bible, and I, I'll talk about Jesus. I'm not trying to force Jesus on you or whatever else. And, uh, you know, and they make apologies. You know, sorry, you know, I didn't, I didn't mean to bring up my faith, and, you know, pansies, cowards. You have one life to live, you know. Um, see that you're serving the Lord with your life. Don't be ashamed of Jesus Christ. You only have one chance at this. You know, the Bible talks about if any man is ashamed of me and of my words in this adulterous and sinful generation, of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed. You're ashamed of Jesus Christ? After he died on the cross to pay for your sins, stripped naked, and he's up there beaten to within an inch of his life, then they nail him to a cross, and you're afraid to say anything about him? Pansies. <laughs> I mean, what a bunch of sissies. I mean, seriously, you're a sissy if you're afraid to talk about the Bible. If you're afraid to judge evil in this world. Oh, Bible says not to judge. Uh, hypocritical judgment is all that's condemned. The Bible never said that you're not allowed to judge evil, wicked people. Never. The Bible does not teach such nonsense. You can judge things. You can say, this is sin. This is wrong. This is wickedness. Unless you don't believe you have an authoritative standard. You see, that's the other issue. When you don't believe in the King James Bible and say that is the only book, I am King James only. <gasps> oh no, I might be labeled as a cult member. Oh, huh. sissy. Um, but you don't have that belief as a Bible believing Christian. See, that's part of the problem with a lot of these guys. Oh, I'm a Christian. I'm a Christian. Do you believe that you have a perfect standard that you can hold in your hands and judge people with it? Well, no because my pastor said that it's not perfect and actually Greek and Hebrew is perfect but the Greek text and the Hebrew text can constantly be updated so only the original autograph is perfect <laughs> so I, I don't want to be judgmental I don't want to say too much and, and preach to people and whatever you realize if you are genuinely saved and you don't preach to people those people will end up in hell and they're going to blame you at the great white throne judgment all the world will be standing there You'll see all the evil people that have ever lived. Every single one of them. There's Hitler, there's Stalin, there's Lenin, there's Mao Zedong. All of these devils out there. Every Pope that ever lived. Yeah, they're wicked too. They don't follow the Bible. Uh, they aren't going out and telling anybody preaching the gospel or anything else. Jesus died for their sins. And, and if you don't repent, you'll go to hell and burn forever. They don't preach that. All the Popes are lost. They're just, uh, you know, Caesar regurgitated. Not the supreme, or not Pontificus Maximus anymore. It's just the supreme pontiff. But uh, they're going to, going to be standing there. And you can stand up there, little mousy man, little pansy girl. And, and uh, 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 I was ashamed. I, I didn't say anything. Oh, there's my co-worker. Uh, and the guy says, why didn't you warn me, you coward? Oh, you're so afraid of judging me? You could have said something. There's my family members. There's my... You know, whatever classmates, my guys I was in the military with, guys, whatever the case is. You little pansy Christian. I don't want to offend anybody. You know, and the problems that we have in America right now with all this woke stuff and, and you know, perversions of all kind growing, it's eventually just going to go away and we won't have to fight it. Yes, and corruption and everything else, and our borders are being overrun by illegal aliens, which goes completely against the scriptures. God created nations. God created bounds of their habitation. But I don't want to judge. I don't want to say anything. It's a little bit too pink. You know, I try to watch a lot of different information and a lot of different things out there because I study, I research. 
but I just ah, I get so sick and tired of hearing this thing. You know, I, I'm not. Hey, I'm not trying to judge anybody. I'm not trying. Well, I will try to judge people based on the scriptures, not my personal preferences or opinions. Uh, I'll show people what the Bible has to say about them. The Bible says that you're a dirty, rotten, filthy sinner. Getting some wind here. Hopefully, that's not wrecking the uh, audio. A little bit windy out here. Actually, about one degree below zero Fahrenheit this morning, so it's pretty cold out. But uh, the Bible says you're a sinner. A very wicked, very vile sinner. You cannot save yourself. You are worthy of eternity in hell. Jesus had to come down and die on the cross to pay for your miserable, worthless hide. And that goes for everybody. Men and women. And children, you know, after they get past the age of accountability where they can understand that they are a sinner. It goes for them too. Your grandmother. Your grandfather. Everyone. If you don't repent, you'll perish. You'll go and burn in hell. God doesn't want that. God's not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So I suggest that uh, you repent. Repent of your sissiness if you are a Christian out there and you're afraid to talk about Jesus. So that's going to be it. Um, give up your stupid Vatican versions. They won't give you any confidence to judge righteous judgment. Um, you need to do something. Because, like I said, only one life will soon be passed. Only what's done for Christ will last. For everybody that's wondering, the tracker right here, a little bit cold from overnight, but uh, running good again. It just turned out to be some loose wires. It's only about a $70 bill at the um, repair shop that I took it to. So thank you to everybody out there for your advice and uh, prayers and everything else. So pretty easy fix and uh, it's been running pretty good. So that's it for now.